This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is useful for the students studying for IPCC means inter CA or say IPC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for F5 Ecom undergraduation course and also other professional courses like ICWA, CS, Executive, where this chapter of accounting is in the syllabus. Name of the chapter insurance claim for loss of stock. So if this chapter is in the syllabus, this video is useful. Now first of all, I would like to give you the specific theoretical hints for the purpose of solving the sum. In this chapter of insurance claim, that too, insurance claim for loss of stock. So what is the circumstances? Fire has occurred, stock is lost means destroyed by fire, we have taken an insurance. How much claim we should make or how much claim we should demand from insurance company for loss of stock that is to be studied in this chapter. Now see, before I start with the actual sum, I would like to give you few theoretical hints for the purpose of solving the sum under consideration. Say for example, fire occurred or fire can occur at any time. It's an event. Now fire occurred after four months from the beginning of the year. Stock is destroyed. We have already taken the policy. We will go to the insurance company that give us the claim. Insurance company says us how much stock is being destroyed. What is the value of stock that is being lost due to fire? I may say that I don't know how much stock existed at the moment of fire. I have not counted the stock before the occurrence of fire. So I don't know exact amount of stock that existed at the moment of fire. Then insurance company says that come for claim the day on which you know the value of stock that has been destroyed. Now, naturally nobody has counted stock before the moment of fire. So, and suppose that a fire is going to occur and if I know that after 12 hours a fire is going to occur, should I start counting the stock or should I start removing the stock? So, what is the situation? Stock details are not available at the moment of stock, at the moment, I'm sorry, at the moment of fire. So that has to be estimated. How to estimate? For the purpose of estimating the stock existed at the moment of fire, we are required to prepare a statement which is alike to trading account, which is titled as memoranda trading account. So for the purpose of estimating the stock that existed at the moment of fire, we are required to prepare a memoranda trading account. Now see, these are the hints that I am going to, I want to give you for solving the sum. So memoranda trading account is prepared to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. If the normal rate of gross profit is given or known to us. Suppose that if normal rate of gross profit is available to us or is known to us or is already worked out. Then you can find out the stock existed at the moment of fire on the basis of past gross profit percentage. That is also an estimate actually. And for that purpose, memoranda trading account is prepared. Now memoranda trading account looks like trading account. But it is a working note, not actually trading account prepared on the basis of ledger account. On the basis of ledger accounts, of course. The information of ledger if available that is useful. But this memoranda trading account is a, prepared, it's a statement prepared to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. How it is prepared? 
द ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज रेकॉर्डेड एट कॉस्ट परचेस ऑफ गुड्स इज रेकॉर्डेड ऑन दिस डेबिट साइड ऑन दिस साइड परचेस ऑफ गुड्स इज रेकॉर्डेड बट विच परचेसिस ओनली दो परचेसिस फॉर विच डिलीवरी हैज बीन रिसीव सिमिलरली वेजेस फॉर ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटीज वेजेस फॉर हैंडलिंग गुड्स आर ऑल्सो रेकॉर्डेड ही now after all these three, three things generally gives us the cost of goods available for sale from that we are required to deduct the cost of sales but cost of sales is recorded in trading account in a manner where in sales is credited and gross profit is recorded on the debit side so let me write down sale now which sale is to be recorded only those sale only those goods sold for which the delivery has been made those sales that sales is recorded all those sales are recorded now similarly goods delivered at cost other than sales goods taken for personal use goods given for charity goods stolen all are the goods outgoings goods outflow which has to be recorded at cost either on this side or alternatively the cost of goods delivered at cost can be deducted from purchases and the net purchases net purchase of goods which is available for sale gets recorded here on the debit side so purchases minus goods delivered at cost other than sales is to be deducted and the net purchases also can be recorded on the on this side debit side of the trading account similarly now this sales is available we know the rate of gross profit for the past so sales multiplied by rate of gross profit we can work out the gross profit from this total if you deduct this side you will get the stock available at the moment of fire or the stock that is subject to risk at the moment of fire now this is how the stock at the moment of fire is worked out the same calculation can be done in an alternative way by preparing a statement all these details will be recorded in a other format other manner that is known as statement for finding out the stock at the moment of fire what is to be done opening stock at cost plus purchase of goods only for which the delivery has been received wages for operating activities this is the total cost of goods available for sale from that deduct sales minus gross profit that is cost of goods sold similarly goods delivered at cost other at cost other than sales is also deducted and here you will get the stock at the moment of fire this is the alternative presentation that one can go for now let me start with the sum where in this theory is going to be applied look at the sum on the screen this is the sum now this is a simple sum first i will read for you and then solve it a prepares accounts on 30th september each year but on 31st of december 2015 fire destroyed greater part of his stock following information was collected stock on 1st of october 2015 year ends on 31st 30th september so this is an opening stock purchases till the date of fire date of fire is 31st of december 2015 so purchases till the date of fire wages till the date of fire sales till the date of fire rate of gross profit is 33 and 1/3% on cost so you have to find out the percentage of profit on sales from the percentage of profit given on cost that we shall consider at a later stage stock salve 3000 insurance policy 25000 claim was subject to an average clause now see what is this average clause you have taken a policy of 25000 but goods subject to risk at the moment of fire is suppose 30000 then goods subject to risk is 
you have taken a policy of 25,000, so there is an under insurance. So you have taken a proportion of insurance and proportion of the goods are not insured. So out of 30,000, 25,000 is suppose insured. Then 25 by 30 is the risk that that proportion of risk that is insured. So 25 by 30 is the 5 by 6. 5 6 risk is insured and 1 by 6 risk is not insured. So whatever the loss that occurs to you due to fire, 5 6 thereof will be available as insurance claim. That is the meaning of average clause. Stock at the beginning was calculated 10% less, 10% less than the cost. Stock is to be valued at cost. So to find out the stock at cost, 29,700 divided by 90%. So you will get the cost of stock at the beginning of the period. Plant installed by firm's own worker, he was paid 500, which is included in wages. So in wages, plant installation charges are not the operating expense. So it should be removed from this 33,000 and the wages for operating activity shall be considered for the purpose of finding out stock at the moment of fire. Purchase includes purchase of plant 5000, so from purchases also. Only purchase of goods is to be considered. That is available for sale. This plant is a capital expenditure that should be taken out from the total purchases and the purchase of goods will be considered for the purpose of working out the claim or the for the purpose of finding out the stock existed at the moment of fire. Now let me start with the sum. Here I prepare memoranda trading account till the date of fire, that is from period 1, 1st of October to 31st of December date of fire. I write opening stock on the debit side, but this stock is less by 10%, so this is the 90% value. So 90% value is equal to 29,700. How much is 100%? To find it out, 29,700 divided by 90%. That works out to be 33,000 is the cost of opening stock. Purchase is 75,000 minus plant purchase included therein. That is deducted 70,000. Wage is 33,000 which includes the installation charges 500 that is to be deducted therefrom. So 33,000 minus 500. Total of these three is stock available for sale. Now sales. Now this is the percentage of profit on cost. So let me work out the percentage of profit on sales. Suppose that if 100 is the cost then 33.33 is the profit. Then the sales value is 133.33. If 133.33 is the sales value then profit element is 33.33. How much for? 100. So if you work it out, how to work it out? 33.33 multiplied by 100 divided by 130.33 you will get 25% on sales. Now 140,000 into 25%, 35,000 is the cost of good, is the gross profit. To find out the cost of goods sold, 140,000 minus 35,000, 105,000 is the cost of goods sold. Now this is the gross profit record in the debit side as we usually write on the debit side of trading account. The purpose of this trading account is, the, is to find out the stock at the end of the period of trading account. So total of debit, total of this side, minus 150,000. So this is the stock existed at the moment of fire. Now 30,500 is the stock subjected to risk at the moment of fire. Now again said, you have taken an insurance policy of 25,000. So this is an under insurance. In case of under insurance, the risk coverage or risk covered is 25,000 divided by 30,000. 30, this is the proportion of risk that has been covered. Now what is the proportion of risk that has not been covered? Then 30,500 minus 25,000, 5,500 divided by 30,500 is the proportion of risk not covered. Now when we go for insurance claim, whatever the loss is occurred, to that loss, this proportion of risk covered will be applied to find out the claim amount. So here, let me work it out. The stock existed at the moment of 30,500 minus stock salvaged, 
3000 so stock exactly destroyed by fire works out to be 30500 minus 3000 that works out to be 27500 this is the loss due to fire to this loss this proportion is applied for that let me write down the formula so amount of claim is equal to insurance in short value 25000 divided by stock available for risk stock subject to risk so this is the proportion multiplied by this loss of stock 27500 so this is the proportion of risk covered multiplied by loss 27500 so this is the amount of claim that is 22000 541 is the amount of claim that insurance company shall grant to us. So here we have worked out insurance claim against the loss of 27,500. The claim amount is 22,541 that is due to average clause. Why average clause is applied? Because it is an under insurance. This is how the amount of claim is worked out. Now I think that you have followed this sum. Thanks to Allah.